The peace of the Lord be with you all. I am Bishop Lucas, your servant in Christ, reaching out to each one of you through faith journey. As we gather, I encourage each one of you to find a quiet place, settle in, and open your hearts to the message that will be shared tonight. The grace and love of our God be with us today and always. I am Pastor Elias Joel, and I am here with you all tonight, praying and reflecting along with you. Let's begin by turning our thoughts to those of our brothers and sisters who are having trouble finding rest, having trouble with insomnia. Tonight, we will make a powerful prayer for them, asking the Lord to guide them safely into peaceful sleep, rested and ready for the fresh day that awaits. And as these troubled souls drift into their dreams, they may find comfort, peace, and rest. Remember, even in our slumber, God is ever watchful over us, safeguarding our hearts and our souls. May God grant us all a restful night, filled with serene dreams and the strength to carry on tomorrow. Let's hold on to that hope, in the knowledge that God is always with us, even in our silent hours. Amen. Welcome to our midnight journey in the sacred scriptures. The word of God is an infinite treasure, and tonight we delve into the well-loved Psalm 23, The Good Shepherd. This cherished verse is more than merely an expression. It's a beacon of trust, a testament to the unyielding compassion of our Lord. The opening phrase, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want, resonates deeply within our souls. It is an affirmation of unwavering faith and a humble recognition that under God's watchful eye, all our needs are met. When we submit ourselves to God's love and guidance, we don't hunger nor thirst. We are not forsaken. Listen, my fellow pilgrims, as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, we are never alone. Dark times may surround us, yet we are not engulfed by fear. For God's comforting presence is right beside us, guiding us filled with light and righteousness. And the table prepared before our foes, it's not a table for gastronomic indulgence, it offers a spiritual feast, a celebration of God's boundless love and grace, weaving a safety net of honor and resilience even amidst adversity. The promise of goodness and mercy that will follow us all our days is a testament to God's never-ending love. Finally, let us bask in the glory of the promise of a heavenly dwelling place, a safe refuge promising endless peace, joy, and rest. This is not an empty promise, but a divine assurance that we will find a home in the Lord forever, enjoying an eternal fellowship with Him. As we meditate upon this psalm tonight, let our hearts brim with gratitude, let our spirits bask in the comfort of divine love, and let our faith resonate the trust in the Good Shepherd, our guiding star through the crests and troughs of life. This faith in His guidance extends beyond our mortal existence, igniting hope, fostering love, and kindling fidelity regardless of the tribulations encountered along the journey. True words indeed, Lucas. The power of Psalm 23 is incredible. Let's unite our hearts in prayer, my brothers and sisters. In the spirit of unity and shared faith, I want all of you to participate actively in this prayer fellowship, dear listeners. If there's anyone needing a special prayer or any family members who are in your thoughts, kindly leave their names in the comments. Together, as we join our hearts and lift our voices, we will present them all to our loving God. If this midnight prayer and discussion have resonated with you, if it has brought warmth and peace into your heart, I invite you to express it. Leave your like, hit that subscribe button, and remember to turn on your notifications. We're more than just a group here, my dear brothers and sisters. We're building a vibrant, global family of prayer a family that supports, nurtures, and lifts each other in faith. Let's continue to grow in unity, love, and spiritual companionship. May God bless each and every one of you abundantly. Let's continue this journey of faith together, hand in hand. Amen. Now, dear listeners, I'd like to invite Elias Yuao, our theologian and pastor, to read the treasured psalm out loud for us. Absolutely, Lucas. I would like to extend the invitation to you all. As I read... Please join me in this prayer. Speak the words along with me, or echo them in your heart. Let's understand and internalize each syllable, each verse, so we can claim all the promises contained in Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right paths for his namesake. 
even though I walk through the darkest valley. I fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Hearing these powerful words never fails to touch our hearts. How comforting it is to immerse ourselves in this divine prayer of strength and hope in the early hours of the morning. This psalm, it brings emotions welling up inside me. It's an affirmation of the divine grace that strengthens us, gives us hope and guides us along our paths. Such is the enduring power of God, a power that we get to witness and experience every day through these reflections. Hallelujah. In the spirit of continuing our reflection and deepening our spiritual understanding, I'd like to provide some direction for the coming week. I encourage you to integrate this prayer into your daily lives. Listen to Psalm 23 every day before you go to bed throughout the week. Make it a part of your nighttime routine. Let the power of these words soak into your heart and your soul as you drift off to sleep. I believe sincerely that doing so will be a great blessing in your life. Let us continue to seek harmony and peace through the wisdom enclosed in these holy scriptures. In pushing forward, I wish to lay emphasis on the seven-day challenge. Seven is a deeply significant number in the holy scriptures. It's seen as God's number, a symbol of completion and perfection. The creation of the world took place in seven days. There are seven gifts of the Spirit, seven days in a week, and many more instances in the Bible. With this in mind, let's immerse ourselves in Psalm 23 for the same number of days. For seven days straight, let's listen to this prayer every day. I believe that something magnificent will happen if we do so. It is an effort towards reaching spiritual perfection, deepening our connection with our faith, and inviting divine blessings into our lives. This prayer can truly become part of your daily rhythm and impart a sense of peace and fortitude in your heart. The Word of God is a gem that shines brighter each time we return to its illumination. Allow me to conclude by speaking the blessings contained within Psalm 23 over you. Know this, dear listener, the Lord is with you. He guides you, He protects you, and He provides for you, just as the psalm declares. May all these blessings be upon you, your house, and your family. May the grace and the abundant love of God overflow into every area of your life. No matter what, remember this. Our mighty God walks with us. He leads us in paths of righteousness for His name's sake. May His blessing be with you in abundance. Amen. As we part ways today, I urge you to share the blessings and guidance found in Psalm 23 with others. Send this prayer to your family and friends. In this difficult time, so many are in need of the comfort and reassurance that this Psalm provides. For every 10 persons you share this with, you can be confident that at least one will be deeply touched, maybe even finding their way back to God. And others will not depart empty-handed. Blessings will be poured out and their lives transformed dramatically. Never underestimate the power of sharing God's words. Even the smallest seed can grow into a mighty tree. Amen. As we conclude our time together this evening, dear friends, I speak a deep, heartfelt blessing over you. Remember the divine blessings written in Psalm 23. They are yours. Until the next time, may God be with you. May his countenance shine upon you, and may his peace be your constant companion. Goodbye, dear ones, until we meet again. Absolutely. Dear listeners of Faith Journey, I too say farewell. Reflect on the blessing of this prayer and carry its essence in your hearts. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our subsequent prayer episodes. God's word is a lamp unto our feet, lighting the way in times of darkness. God bless you abundantly, and until our next prayer. Yes, indeed. And for those who will be present during the night, either studying or working, may you have an extra measure of strength. Know that God is always with you. And for those seeking a peaceful sleep tonight, may you rest in the assurance that He who watches over you never slumbers nor sleeps. Those keeping a prayer vigil, your reward will surely come. 
God bless you abundantly and may he grant you the rest and reassurance you need. Amen.